Earlier this year, in conjunction with DJI, a company called Rise launched Tello. At only $100 or £100, is this selfie drone worth the money? Let's take a look. Hi, I'm Ash from Droning On. Over the last few years, we've seen drone manufacturers battling it out to create the ultimate selfie drone, all costing upwards of £200 or $250. This new drone now from Rise, called the Tello, supported by DJI and Intel and other big partners, could be the ultimate selfie drone for under $100. In this review, we're gonna find out, and we'll start by unboxing it. So here it is. Now I'm UK based and I ordered this directly from DJI. It took about five days to arrive, so that's pretty good. And I have to be honest, that's the first thing I've ever actually ordered directly from DJI. So I'm quite impressed that it got to me so quickly. Let's take a look what's inside this gigantic box. And as expected, yeah, it's a tiny box. <laughs> So it is beautifully presented. You've got this lovely clear panel on the front and some detail on the back around the specifications of this tiny little drone. Now, I must say the first thing I'm really shocked at is how small it is. But you see pictures of this online and it does look much bigger in pictures than it actually is in reality. Anyway, let's get this opened up and see what's inside the box. So actually, very, very little comes with the Tello. The primary element, of course, is the drone, which is in this clear plastic container here. And wow, that's so lightweight. There's the Tello, beautiful little drone. You also get an instruction manual and you also get a bag here with a battery inside. And it looks like also some spare props and a prop removal tool as well. Prop removal tool is critical with removing props from these brushed motors because they can be really tricky to get off. On the front of the Tello, there is the camera. Now, don't expect really high resolution video from the Tello. It is 720p capable, that's for video, and it's a five megapixel camera, so it's gonna take some nice photos. Uh, and the video at 720p is going to be acceptable, but not incredible. Also remember, there's no gimbal on here, but the camera does have EIS, which is electronic image stabilization, which hopefully should give a nice stable picture, even though there's no mechanical gimbal here. Next to that camera, there's what looks to be a little LED. So that's probably to indicate to you that it's filming. Looking at the sides of the Tello. Now, first of all, on this side, we've got a USB port. That serves the primary purpose of charging the battery. So with the battery installed, you plug that into a USB power source, for example, for charging your mobile phone, and then that will charge the battery with it inside the Tello. It's a shame there's no way to charge the battery without it being inside the Tello, but who knows, maybe some third-party accessories will release at some point. On the other side of the Tello, we've got the power button, um, and basically you just press that very gently, the Tello turns on, press it and hold it again, and it turns off. Talking of the battery, it does of course ship with one. It's made by a company called Fully Max, and it's a one cell 1100 milliamp battery. So 1100 milliamps is a really big capacity actually for a drone like this. And interestingly as well, it's a lithium ion, not a lithium polymer. And um, lithium ion batteries have come a long way in recent years. Uh, this means that also in cold weather climates, the Tello is going to fly. I did actually test my Dobby recently in um, zero degrees at a ski resort and it basically flew for a few seconds before wanting to land because it just couldn't cope with the temperature. So lithium ion is a good choice. Installing that battery into the Tello is as simple as sliding it in to that slot and then clicking it in like that. And then of course removing it is as simple as the opposite, like that. And if we turn it on actually, you'll now see the light that we have on the front, which gives you an indication of what it's doing. Uh, and other than that, there are no other lights on the Tello, unfortunately. So finally, now onto the underside of the Tello, and this is really where the magic is. Now, for a drone that costs $100 or £100, you don't generally expect infrared sensors and an optical flow camera. So this camera on the underside is not for taking photos for the user. Essentially, this optical flow camera looks at the ground, it looks at the obstacles and the spots on the ground and points of interest, basically, and it then uses what it can see to hold its position. So this drone has no GPS it can't hold its position via coordinates. Instead, it uses that camera to look at pinpoint 
objects, for example, on this table, it will look at the patterns here. And if the drone detects that it's drifting away from that pattern, it knows to drift back to the left or the right. And that's basically how it will maintain its hold where it's flying. So this is very similar to the VPS system on the drones, such as the Phantom and the Mavic. However, this only has a range of around 10 meters. And that's why this drone is capped to an altitude of 10 meters maximum. The implication there is if you fly above 10 meters or you drift away from the edge of a, a building or a cliff, for example, that optical flow camera can no longer get a good fix on the ground. And for that reason, the automatic position hold will probably start to fail, and I would expect the Tello will simply then just drift. So if you're launching this off a hill, <laughs> be very careful not to fly it over 10 meters, because eventually it may stop holding its position. But I will try and test that as part of the flight test, just to see what happens. Either side of the optical flow camera are two infrared sensors as well. I think they're infrared anyway. Uh, they're most likely for tracking the altitude. It's probably got an internal barometer at this drone, but the infrared sensors basically are another way of detecting obstacles beneath it and also detecting roughly how high it is from the ground. So that's the Tello unboxed. You don't get a whole lot inside that package, but remember, this is super cheap. If you want to check out the current price of it, links are in the video description, so go and take a look. But overall, I would say this is a really nicely built little drone. It's a shame that the camera has no tilt on it. That's the only downside, I would say. For that reason, when you are flying it, you're kind of stuck to the sort of 10 degrees tilt downwards that it has. But then this drone is not for creating cinematic footage. It's for taking a quick selfie, but last Largely, it's for having fun. The next step now is to get the app downloaded and connected to Artello. So the first step is to install the battery and then of course to turn on the Tello. You do this by pressing the small power button on the side of the Tello. The light on the front will blink red so that you know when it's on. Now we're going to download the app. Now I'm using the Android platform as usual and so we'll head first to the Play Store where we then need to search for Tello. There should be just a single search result which you can click to get the app installed. After a short time, the app will have downloaded and installed and now comes the most important step, something that I had to learn the hard way as I'll explain in part two. The app requires certain permissions and one of which is to have right access to your phone for storing videos and photos. Unfortunately, this app at the time of filming has a bug where these permissions are not shown when you first start up the app, only when you close it. The trouble here is that you risk not having anything recorded during your first flight. To overcome this, my recommendation is to open the app, but then immediately exit from it, where you'll then be able to see the permission requests. Accept them all, and then you can start up the app once again. This only needs to be done once. It's a pain, but hopefully it'll be addressed with a future app update. So that's the app installed. It's time to test fly the Tello. So that's our Tello all set up, the app installed and connected to our phone. The next step is to get it flight tested and we'll be doing that in the next video. So subscribe now if you're not already a subscriber to get a notification of when that part two is posted. In the meantime, comment below, click subscribe and give the video a thumbs up. Thank you very much for watching.